Joining me right now is my new best friend, Dr. Kerry O'Reilly. He is out in the Southern California area. For those of you watching this on KDOC out in Los Angeles or any of the other stations throughout California, this would become my dentist, right? His, his URL is myholisticdentist.com. So filled with information, we did a podcast on him. Check that out after today's show. Thank you, Dr. O'Reilly, for being on with us today. My pleasure. It's great fun. Thank oh, you, Doug. We do have fun. Dr. O'Reilly, let's start with what my audience wants to know. I've got some mercury in here that a dentist in 1958 put in my mouth. Am I going to die of a cardiovascular event or get Alzheimer's from that mercury? Is that a good thing or a bad thing? Can I leave it in or should it come out? Over time, in the long run here, Doug, mercury is not a good thing for the body. If it builds up to any degree in your body, it's a, it's a toxic element. So whatever sources we're exposed to are exposed to more and more sources from our environment, for instance, and dentistry is one of those sources. So over time, I think it's important for a healthy lifestyle to remove those old metal fillings, especially once they reach a certain age, let's say 20 years old. The problem is some of the metal fillings are in place for 30 years or 40 years. They'll last. That's one of the great things about metal fillings or amalgams. They'll last forever, 40 yep. years. Yep. And they may actually outlast the tooth. Or the person. <laughs> over time, they also weaken the structure, the structural integrity of the tooth and crack. So the tooth will actually break mm -hmm. around them, which you don't want to have happen. Yeah. yeah. But as far as a material and toxicity issues, um, it's been shown and proven now that it is released in very small amounts. But these kind of toxic elements, heavy metals, it's a heavy metal, mm -hmm. can build up in your body over time from fish also. Mm -hmm. So that's something you don't want right. because later later in life, if you have a high level of mercury in your system, it can pose a health concern, creating certain weaknesses and conditions. Yep. Now, some um, people are then, having those out, Dr. O'Reilly, and they're having composites put in, but I'm worried about BPA and other plastic composite material. Do you worry about that? Yes, I do. A lot of my patients are MCS or multiple chemical sensitive, and they they cannot tolerate metals, for instance, and some of them can't tolerate plastics or the chemicals, the monomers and the bisphenol A that's in composites. Mm -hmm. And so, number one, you want to use composites uh, that don't contain those chemicals in them, and there are a few that don't contain them. You have to know which those are, of course. Mm -hmm. uh, some of the holistic or biological dentists know the differences in the materials that they're using. And the second thing is it's important how these materials, like these old fillings, old metal fillings and old composites sometimes are removed during the dental work. Like if you're doing a new filling or crown and you yeah. need to remove the metal, you don't want to be exposed to the metal in those fillings while, the dent while they're coming out of your tooth. Yeah. So there's... There's special protocols that you can do that you can that, that aren't that difficult that prevent the exposure while the drilling is being done. And, and is that all, on your you know, website, Dr. O'Reilly? These protocols, did you publish those on your website? I, I speak, I talk about them. There's some pictures on my okay. website that that show the rubber dam, for instance, mm -hmm. a protector yeah. that protects yeah. your mouth. Yep. So it's like a raincoat over the tooth. And while you're drilling on it, none of that material, the metal, gets in your mouth or is swallowed, for instance. You don't want to swallow that, that metal. No, certainly. Okay, for more information, it's My Holistic Dentist. My Holistic H, not W, H-O-L-I-S-T-I-C, MyHolisticDentist.com. And by the way, drop in and look at Dr. O's oral hygiene home care instructions. How should you floss? How should you brush? Thank you so much, Dr. O'Reilly, for being with us today. You're welcome. Thanks for having me on. You bet.